It's a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a wreck of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps for one of these. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. So here it is, what we've all been waiting for. Make sure you are strapped in and ready to go. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite lively. Which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Samir Handanovic. He has magnificent reactions and his incredible record at saving penalties is testament to that. Having a, a reliable and authoritative keeper like him makes a, a massive difference to a team's confidence levels. And believe me, Peter, I'd expect him to make an immediate impact here. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. And it's Eriks. Sensi, played back in, Eriksson, well positioned to make that interception, Sensi, Martinez, oh that's nice, swept in, and out it comes again. has got rid of that Bastoni going back to the keeper looks to thread it through Martinez plays it backwards and they'll try again Ericsson Ericsson Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And it's Perisic. He'll hit it! Well, to put it this way, he's probably made better decisions. Lukaku hoists it high. Martinez shoots. Goal! Inter! Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike.
A 1-0 lead established. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Longley. Griezmann pushes to get on the end of it. And it's Perisic. Nicely measured pass. Lukaku has a hit! It's in! And they're at it again in double quick time! Oh, high quality goal. Lovely first touch, sumptuous second. to Milan, get themselves a two-goal cushion. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now, the only doubt is how many is coming. Sergio Busquets. Messi. There's a lot of movement going on, there's no shortage of options. So I guess they're looking to play around their opponents as opposed to through them. Yeah, the style is designed to dominate the ball, and so you dominate your opponents. Now it's Perisic. Perisic. There he goes, motoring for It's Perisic! Oh, the ball's come loose. I really don't think you could expect anything better from the goalkeeper then. We're near heroic territory. Dion. PK. Pjanic. Longley. Dion. PK. Sergio Busquets. Pjanic. Sensi did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. And it's Perisic. Martinez. Oh, shooting chance! And the first half is done. We can review the first half. Inter just didn't want the half-time whistle to be blown. Convincing and controlled. Inter Milan sitting pretty here at half-time. 2-0 up. That's the start of another 45 minutes. No changes at the interval from either side. Roberto. Sergio Busquets. Roberto. Back to the keeper and try something new. Ter Stegen sends that a long way. Well, that's where he wants it. Eriksson. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Bastoni. Lukaku is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on before he, he scored. Aguero. He's through, now is he in? Aguero really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. Jordi Alba plays it forward. The message is clear, none shall pass. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. And that's going to be a booking. Well, sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play and uh, it makes even less sense.
great strength, too strong for his opponent. Eriksson. Pjanic did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. Barcelona get it back again. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And it's Hector Bellerin. Lukaku. That'll be a throw-in. Hector Bellerin battles to win it back. Lukaku looking to get on the end of this. Lovely feat. Hector Bellerin. Well read, he sorted that out. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. There could be trouble here. And for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Sergio Busquets, Messi, now it's Pjanic. He's in space and looking for options. Skriniar can get it clear. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's, it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's, it's pretty late. Griezmann. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. And it's Lukaku. It's a good foot in there. Pjanic drives it forward. Decent progress down the left. Going through. And here's Aguero. Aguero... And the finish! He scores! With so little time left, grandstand finish! That was glorious, pinpoint accuracy. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. Barcelona give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Hit long and direct. Busquets with the clearance. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Sensi. So that's it. It is all over. Inter Milan start as they wanted to start. All three points. The first three points, crucially. After all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Listen, ideally,